What's up? This is Benzo. And what's up? It's your boy Diggy, and welcome to Kicking It, a weekly show about sneakers and everything sneaker related. The drops, the flips, and the sneaker tips. Let's start this episode out today and talk about what we have on feet. Benzo, what are you rocking today? Today I'm rocking the uh, Georgetown Jordan 3s. As last time in episode one, I had them on. They're super comfortable, so I'm wearing them again today. For me, I am rocking the Vans Authentics. They are super clean, great colorway. I love the maroon. You can wear them with a lot of colors. Oh, yeah. I picked these up recently at Foot Locker for on sale for $29.99, so a great price point. Nice. They are a great spring and summer shoe. Yes, and speaking are. of spring and summer shoe, as you guys might tell, we are feeling very festive today for the new season. So today we are going to talk about our five essential items that we need for spring and summertime. Benzo, what's your first item? My first item would definitely have to be my Adidas golf shoes. Just pick them up. I'll be uh, wearing them most in the summer and they're super dope. They're really comfortable. They have the boost in, in them and uh, love the colors. So first item. For me, my first item is going to be a shoe as well. It's going to be the classic white Air Force One Low. I feel like this is definitely a summertime essential. All the way since they first came out, people have been rocking them. Oh yeah. It's very important that you keep these very clean and fresh. We'll be talking about more tips on that later on in the episode. Benzo, what's your next item? My next item would have to be my UNC golf ball marker. You know, just a little personality and uh, yeah. Just keep it in my pocket. Keeps me good with the etiquette. And for me, my next item is going to be my Supreme Sun Hat. I picked this up recently from DG Reserve in the Asheville Mall. Shout out DG Reserve. <laughs> this is great for me because I am super duper pale and I get super sunburned very easily. So this is great for the pool. This is great for the beach. It is. And anytime I'm outside, it keeps me nice and cool and warm and protected from the sun. Might need to get me one of them. So, my next item, speaking of Supreme, water bottle. Supreme water bottle is a great collaboration with Nalgene, and uh, this thing keeps me hydrated all the time. So, that's my next item. And speaking of sun and protection items, my next item is going to be my sunglasses. I always need a fresh pair of sunglasses every summertime. They're great to protect your eyes from the sun. They add another effect to your outfit. They can be a great accessory for you. Oh, yeah. They have all different colors and styles so they can always stay fresh. Always. What's your next item, Benzo? My next item would uh, would be the Yeezys. You can't go wrong in the summer without Yeezys. And with, without Yeezys, I would say with. And uh, these are the Citrines. They're super dope, uh, really comfortable. I've definitely worn them. They're my personals, but uh, perfect for the summer. And they're great to go with a pair of shorts. I have these Nike shorts and this would be my fifth item. So super dope, very comfortable. I like to stay comfortable and cool, especially when with the temperature and also with my shades on, so. <laughs> my next item is also gonna be a pair of Nike shorts. They're the Nike flea shorts. Last year, I became addicted to these shorts. I probably have about 10 pairs of them every color they pretty much made. Mm -hmm. Um, I, like I pretty color. much, yeah, I lived in these during the quarantine. They are all different colors. They are bright. They have that big Nike check so you know what brand it is. Oh, yeah. They're super soft with the fleece inside. And they keep you cool. And also, if you do get them wet, they dry pretty quick, which is another cool feature about them in case you do go in the water. So next, let me take off these sunglasses so I can see you guys a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk to you guys about how to keep your sneakers clean. So first off, Benzo is going to talk to you a little bit about the crepe. For oh, those yeah. who don't know what crepe is. So here we have, it comes in a pack. It comes in a nice little pack. Inside your pack, you have a brush and you have the sneaker cleaner and you have a towel. So as you guys know, they, you probably know how to use these in the proper steps, <laughs> but uh, they keep my shoes nice and clean. And uh, every time if I just wear out, you know, wear a shoe, I come back to the house, just hit them, keep it by the sink. Just really uh, keeps keeps my shoe game on point. So, crap, this is a little package. I think it's about, what, 1995? 1995. Like that. That's where I picked it up. I picked it up at Foot Locker. Foot Locker, Chance. Line. A lot of your main All major those. shoe so, stores. So it's, it's dope and uh, totally recommend it if you do not have sneaker cleaner. And another great option that crap makes is gonna be the crap sneaker wipes. They are a 
very quick and easy way to clean your shoes if you're out and about and don't have the whole sneaker kit with you. What you do is just pop them open. And they already have the cleaner on the the wipes. Oh yeah. And they are they do have a little bit of like uh, bristle on there, so you can clean your shoes pretty well. You just pop them open and you just give them a little good scrub down and you are good to go on the go. This is great oh, yeah. for if you wear your shoes to the beach, if you go hiking or anything, you can always keep your shoes fresh. The next thing that Ben's gonna tell you about is Drip Grip, which is a really great new product. So I have these uh, off-white dunks that I actually did win on the sneakers app, uh, which was super dope. And uh, on the bottom is a sneaker protection, as you can see. It's a nice material. It is applied with the heat gun and it really saves my shoes. Uh, so if you wanna keep, cause I wanna keep this shoe for as long as possible and I want the value to stay where it is meant to be and uh, even go up. So if I wear this, I could wear this probably, uh, you know, for a month or so, maybe even longer, depending on how hard you are on your shoes and you, this peels right off you still have an almost dead stock shoe as long as you're you know keeping the outsides and everything else clean so drip grip is uh is great and diggy will talk a little bit more about it and drip grip is a great company our, um, one of our friends actually owns it his name is mason owner of oh, dg yeah. reserve in the Asheville mall so if you go to dripgrip.com and use the code reserve 10 you mm -hmm. can save 10 percent on your purchase right here and speaking of saving the appreciation of your shoes and the value of your shoes. We're gonna help you guys with some shoe terms that you might not know about, that you might hear on future episodes of the show, just to keep you guys, if you are kind of new to the sneaker culture. <clears throat> Sorry, horse again. my voice is getting a little bit hoarse. My first term is gonna be dead stock or DS. That means the shoe is brand new, like these Supreme Dunks that are in front of us. We'll talk to you guys a little bit more. That means they've never been worn and fresh out the box, pretty much straight from the factory. Oh, yeah. The next term is going to be VNDS. That means it's going to be very near dead stock. That means they may have been worn once or twice, not heavily worn. There's no, if you look at Nikes, they have stars on the toes. That means there's not going to be really any stars missing or anything like that. Those are all items that people look for when you are buying and reselling shoes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let Ben talk to you next about the terms retail versus resale. So let's start off with retail. Retail is what you're gonna buy the shoes when you go on the sneakers app and you actually get a W, right? So probably your shoes are gonna be around 190 uh, plus tax, generally for Jordans. And uh, your dunks, I would say, you know, around 100, just depending, they go up and down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, uh, that would be retail. For you, you're buying the shoe and without the inflation. And uh, after that, we have and the next one we have is there's a lot of new sites popping up where you can buy shoes. There's Grail, there's Facebook Marketplace, there's StockX, mm -hmm. there's Goat. A term you might see on some of these sites is UA. UA means unauthentic. So that pretty much means the shoe is not real, it's a replica. Um, we do not have any hate if that's what you want to choose to wear. That is your choice, we understand it. There's a lot of shoes that are hard to get and very expensive. But be careful if you are looking to make a collection and you want your shoes to all be 100% authentic and real, stay away from UA. Absolutely. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is the term bin, which stands for buy it now. That means if someone is selling a shoe, it's usually personally not a store or a sneaker store, that's the buy it now price. The, this is what you wanna pay, this is what they want you to pay, and that's it. The next one is going to be HO, which stands for highest offer. That means they have a shoe for sale, and if someone wants to offer uh, a different amount than the buy it now price, that's the highest offer they've received for that shoe. The next two terms I'm gonna let Ben take over is PE and GR. Okay, so PE is player exclusive. So when it comes to uh, player exclusives, it's only offered to the players themselves. And uh, sometimes they turn into general releases, uh, which allows the shoes to be which were player exclusives to now be general release. And that brings in a lot of, uh, uh, allows people to buy them that would, would never uh, be able to get player exclusives, so. 
And going along with the PE thing, the more limited release shoes, you might see a SE, which stands for Special Edition. That means a shoe that might have came out, which is a general release, yeah. but they might like change something up on the shoe or add a different color to it or different color blocking right. and make it a special edition of that shoe, which usually drives the price up a little bit. And speaking of driving the price up, we're gonna talk about depreciation versus appreciating prices. Can't speak today, I'm sorry guys. Um, pretty much shoes are like cars. If you put a shoe on your foot and wear it, drive it off the lot, it goes down in value. For instance, um, we're gonna talk about these Supreme Dunks. They right now have never been driven or worn, uh, dead stock. And that means the price has gone up on these shoes. They originally were released for $100, and now they're reselling anywhere between $1,600 to $1,800. And the different colorways of the shoes are actually selling for even more. And let's say you're going to put this shoe on your feet and wear it, the price might go down on the shoe some. The way I look at it, on most shoes, if you wear them, every time you wear a shoe, you're taking $20 off the value of the shoe. Those numbers aren't 100% accurate, but that's kind of how I look at it. So if you do want to keep your shoes in great conditions, great shape, make sure you put the drip grip on as we were talking about, oh, yeah. and keep some crepes so you can keep your shoes nice and clean. All right, speaking of how shoes appreciate and depreciate, we're gonna talk about one of the biggest shoe releases of the year. That's gonna be the Nike Supreme Dunk. This shoe was released about a, two weeks to a month ago and it was almost impossible to get and it'll definitely be a shoe that is a classic and will be in a lot of people's collections for a long time shout out to 828 soul steals for letting us use the shoe to give you guys a review um, this is the black colorway they also came in a blue colorway a burgundy colorway and a green colorway the green colorway is currently reselling for more which is a surprise for a lot of people because a lot of people didn't really like that green when it first released um, the shoe has a lot of great accents it has a gold right there on the lace tips the gold stars on the side and if you look inside the shoe one of the insoles says sup and the other one says supreme so supreme of course <laughs> and um I had to give this shoe, I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I do like the shoe, but for the price point of $1,800, I just wish it was a little bit more in my opinion. But for retail at $100, it is a great shoe. Benz, what is your opinion? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh, when it comes to, if I would totally rock this shoe, put it in my collection at retail. Um, I really like the gold accents. Uh, Supreme always does it right. And uh, I do like the inside, the insole, where it says Supreme, S-U-P on one side, left, and R-E-M-E -E on the other, Supreme. They always have those little touches that just make it different than every, every other. So that, this in itself is a dope shoe and I would definitely add it to my collection. And once again, thank you guys for tuning in today. Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on that bell notification so you know every time we post a video, we will be planning on posting a video once a week. And please follow us on Instagram at kickingit828. And once again, I'm Diggy. And I'm Benzo. Thank you for kicking it, and stay fresh. Stay fresh.